Hey guys, it's week 23. Um, today's the day I'm going to do my weigh-in. Just got out of bed not too long ago. Um, it's been a rough week. Um, it's been rough, but I think I would have, I think I'm going to have some weight loss results. Um, I worked hard. I'm, yeah, and I'll talk to you about that after I do the weigh-in. All right, here we go. Two eighteen point zero. Two eighteen point zero. So it looks like I lost a pound from last week. All right, let's talk about week twenty three and what my future plans are going forward for doing weigh ins. So um, I wanted to talk about my week twenty three weigh in and just basically like how my week went. My week was a little bit rough. Um, I still did not get a chance to meal prep and so that made it hard. I didn't make my my vegetable soup that I usually make. I call it superfood soup and I'm going to be showing that recipe soon so stay tuned for that um, in a few days. Um, also please click on the like button. Um, I would appreciate that. Um, we're trying to get our video see more especially the health videos um yeah because you know we need more health videos of just weight loss exercise dieting all that stuff so um if you can please click on the like button of course the algorithms that'll help um increase that okay thanks in advance okay but anyway so um yeah it's just been a rough week um i miss a some days here and there of exercising. So what I did was I made up for it and I worked out two hours on the days that I did exercise. And I was like extremely exhausted from that because my overall calorie intake is low, but um, I was able to still fuel my body after, but it was still hard. Like by the time I got to that second hour, it was like, whew, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> It was exhausting and it was just mainly cardio. So that was hard. So I really need to find a way to work out every day. I feel like if I miss a day, I feel like my weight's going to stagnate or I'm going to gain a pound or whatever. So um, I need to get back on track with consistent working out. I used to work out for like 40 minutes, but I realized that's not enough for the weight that I'm trying to lose. So um, going forward, I'm always going to do at least an hour. And if I miss a day, I'm just going to make it up by doing longer cardio. I'm going to probably um, do an extra 30 minutes or just do an extra hour. So I'll be doing cardio for two hours that day. That's the only way that I see myself getting to my goal weight. Um, yeah, because I, I didn't try everything else. Like I pretty much did different. I've been kind of experimenting in different ways. And pretty much that's the only way I see that works for me. So yeah, like if I mess up, I really got to compensate. I got to I gotta make up for it, period. Okay, so basically, I think what I'm going to start doing, well, I don't think, I know what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start doing my uh, weigh-ins bi-weekly. So um, you won't see me every two weeks do, I mean, every week doing a weigh-in. I'm only going to do a weigh-in um, um, every two weeks. So that's twice a month. And I'm going to do more midweek videos, um, more uh, showing my process of how I'm actually losing weight. I think that will be more beneficial for people that's interested in the, in the weight loss journey videos and just for people in general, like for general health and stuff like that. Because, you know, be, doing the weigh-in is fine and just talking about little clips about what I do. But I feel like if you guys see the process more i think that will motivate you um or motivate other people you can share the videos of people that's overweight that may not want to admit it um that they they having a hard time losing weight or you know they might want to lose weight you could always just send them the video um and that might help motivate them or help get them on the right track give them some advice so that they can start losing pounds or whatever so um yeah so that's pretty much what i wanted to do um what i wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to stop doing weekly weigh-ins um, 
and just do more uh, videos of the process. Um, I just think that'll be more beneficial for the community. And I met my goal weight, so I'm happy about that. But like I said, it wasn't easy. And I know that I, if I don't do right this week, I know I'll stagnate, <laughs> you know, so. Um, and also other things that I did this week was I ate bad on some days and then the next day I would totally like fast and barely eat. And that was also rough too because I didn't have my meal plans and I didn't I didn't have my um, meal prep. I ordered a meal prep book um, that somebody wrote for um, basically going off the recommendations of Dr. Savy. I ordered a whole bunch of books um, regarding Dr. Savy's um, recommendations for diet, exercise, weight loss, health, meal plans. Um, just a whole bunch, and I'll show you guys that on the next on the next video. Um, but it's really beneficial, only because it's helped me. The detox was really good that I did with him, so I feel like I'm just gonna get all his all the collections of books that people wrote about his methods, so that I can use it to help others as well. So a lot of that stuff I already know from my previous background, my education, but um, you know that education was very westernized and. Um, I, I mean, I come from a background as well where we use a lot of herbs, especially on my mom's side, like they use a lot of herbs um, to heal the body and that does certain things, you know, and that's the part that I really want to tap into. So that's why I like Dr. Sabi's recommendations because it's very herb based and not necessarily Western medicine based where they're using synthetic um, drugs and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty much what I have to say. Um, Thanks for watching and I will see you for another weighing video in two weeks. So week 25, I'll be back. And, but you'll see me, I'll do some midweek check-ins. I'm gonna do more of that, like I said. So I'll see you on the next one.